most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in return with having when we talk like this online we have the right to say a lot of things we have the right to do a lot of things in the course of our lifetime but when a person takes information that is not theirs and continues to follow someone into the community and use that information that they got in properly to abuse someone's life we have to be concerned what we know is that the concept of privacy is marvelously changing and the constant change of that law is really becoming effacing. You see, when it came to medical rights, we used to have privacy, but now that we have COVID, we don't have privacy as much anymore. We also have a real problem in the world with continuity of care. The continuity of care programs are allowing technology and people to abuse our privacy rights with regard to our medical health, what goes on inside and outside of our physical being, which is typically private to us. Obviously, when we go to the doctor, when we go to the hospital, we are often asked to disrobe, and I'd like to know why they do that. Why in the world do I have to disrobe to be in a hospital bed? Why in the world can I keep my own clothes on? Now, if you're saying that my clothes are filthy, I'm going to disagree with that, because what I see every day are doctors, nurses, dental hygienists, x-ray technicians walking out in the community in their hospital gowns, their hospital scrubs, whatever you call their uniform. And openly, I'm offended by this. If COVID is such a deadly disease, then they should not be carrying their uniforms into the communities. But at the same time, we have the right to have our privacy of records not being used and abused across social networks in those places. Clinics do not have the right to have their employees know what our conditions are. There might be a code on a piece of paper that a doctor can list, but I don't think it's right that every employee gets the chance to see what's going on for you, especially if it's of an intimate nature which of most, of course, is going on with our health care. You see, our health care belongs to us individually. It doesn't belong to any federal government agency, and it doesn't belong in some sort of international database or national database that is based solely on the ease of technology as opposed to the privacy of the individual.